All right, now, veteran senators like Dodd and Dorgan aren't the only ones to fall victim to this backlash against President Obama's failures during his first year in office. Some of the Democratic Party's rising stars, they are also throwing in the towel. Colorado Governor Bill Ritter confirmed today that he is ending his bid for re-election. And the left is now also scrambling in Michigan after Lieutenant Governor John Cherry informed the party that he would be dropping out of the race for governor in that state. And here to tell us what all these Democrats and how they're running scared is the former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor, Newt Gingrich. And by the way, Newt has a free online newsletter. That's right, free. You can sign up at newt.org. Mr. Speaker, Happy New Year. Good to be with you. Happy New Year. All right, let me, let me start with Dorgan, Dodd, Ritter, Cherry. Are they, are they abandoning ship? Do they, do they see a seismic change shift in uh, the election coming? Are they scared they're going to lose? You know, Dorgan is the one that doesn't quite fit that because I think most people believed he'd get reelected in North Dakota. Dodd clearly was very, very badly damaged. Ritter had become uh, pretty much in trouble. Uh, in Michigan, I think Pete Hoekstra is putting together such a good campaign and has gotten such a boost out of having been Intelligence Committee chairman now with the attempted attack on Detroit that uh, Pete really is becoming a dominant figure in the state. I think that was part of why Lieutenant Governor Cherry probably dropped out. He's faced with a president uh, who clearly couldn't have defended Detroit. We were lucky that the terrorist uh, didn't uh, know how to set off the bomb or we would have had a huge disaster. So I think you're seeing a general decay when you take Michigan, North Dakota, Connecticut, Colorado. Uh, and then you had, of course, over the Christmas break, an Alabama Democrat became Republican. Uh, you see a growing pattern developing uh, that has to mean that uh, John Boehner, for example, uh, feels pretty encouraged that he might become the Speaker of the House after this election.